uh, we are rounding the turn. We'll see what happens. We have a ways to go, but not very far. We've made a lot of progress. And I just want to welcome the Vice Premier. We've become friends. We know each other. Uh, many of you got to meet the Vice Premier a couple of months ago in the same office, the Great Oval Office. And uh, thank you all for being here. And thank you very much for representatives of China being here. We appreciate it. And uh, Mr. Vice Premier, if you'd like to say a few words to these extremely lovely people, uh, you may. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a really a great pleasure uh, to meet the great president. And actually, we have made great progress. Uh, I, I do think that because we got uh, direct guidance by two great presidents, President Xi and uh, President Trump. Thank you. Thank you very and, much. And uh, I will always feel your uh, direct direction. Because your direct uh, involvement, we do have uh, great progress. Although we still have some remainings, but I think uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, we get for a good result. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank well, you very much. Very well done. I could not do that in your language. Mm -hmm. That was thank very you. well done. Thank, thank you very you. much. It's beautiful. So thank you all very much. Again, progress is being made at a very rapid pace. The relationship that we have with China, I will say, is a very good one. Very, very good. And uh, let's see where this all brings us. But uh, I want to thank Ambassador Lighthizer and Steve, I want to thank you and uh, all of you. Peter, you know, it's, it's really good. But especially Ambassador Lighthizer, that's a really incredible job. He's been working 24 hours a day. I would say we're, you know, we're, we've made a lot of headway. We're working very hard. We have a great, a great partner in the, in the Vice Premier. He's become a, a good friend, and I think he's, uh, his commitment to reform in China is the reason that this has a chance. And uh, we'll see. There are still some major, major issues left, but, but uh, we're certainly making more progress than we would have thought when we started. I think that's a fair statement. Well, I think a trade deal with China is good for the world. It's good for us and China, but it's good also for the world. I think it's very important. Uh, we'll see if, if it happens. Uh, we've never done a deal like this with China. Uh, and uh, it's a very unique set of circumstances. But it's a massive deal. Could be one of the — I guess it is, if you think about it — the biggest deal ever made. There can't be a deal like this. No matter where you look, there can't be a deal like this. This is, uh, this is the granddaddy of them all. And we'll see if it happens. It's got a very, very good chance of happening. I think that it will be great for both countries. But it will be — it will be a much fairer deal for us, because over the years, we've uh, lost a lot of — a lot of money to China. China's done very well. And I don't blame China. I say it all the time. I don't blame China. I blame the people that sat right at this desk. They should have never allowed that to happen. So uh, it will bring a lot of things back. I think it'll be great for the United States. I think it's going to be, hopefully, really good for China, too. It's going to be good for everybody. Yeah. I see the fentanyl, because that's been so — we lost 77,000 people due to fentanyl.